We're asked to estimate the area under the graph of f of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus three over the closed interval from negative three to positive three using six approximating rectangles and midpoints. So let's first mark off the closed interval from negative three to positive three, which is here on the left and here on the right. For the next step, let's determine the width of each subinterval by determining delta x, where delta x is equal to the quantity b minus a divided by n. In our case, a is equal to negative three, b is equal to positive three, and because we are using six approximating rectangles, n is equal to six. Which gives us delta x is equal to three minus negative three divided by six, which is equal to six divided by six, which is equal to one. So now we'll form six subintervals with a width of one unit from negative three to positive three. Now that we have our subintervals, we know x sub zero is equal to negative three, x sub one is equal to negative two, x sub two is equal to negative one, and so on. Where x sub six is equal to positive three. And now we'll sketch the six rectangles that we'll use to approximate the area under the curve bounded by the x-axis. To do this, we'll determine the function values at the midpoint of each subinterval. The x value in the middle of negative three and negative two is negative 2.5, which means f of negative 2.5 is the height of the first rectangle. So if I go up to the function at x equals negative 2.5, this would be the height of the first rectangle. Let's also give the area of this rectangle using function notation. So m sub six is equal to, the area of this first rectangle is equal to the width times the height, which is one times the function value f of negative 2.5. For the next subinterval, the x value in the middle of negative two and negative one is negative 1.5. f of negative 1.5 is the height of the second rectangle, which would be here. The area of the second rectangle is equal to the width of one times the function value f of negative 1.5 plus for the third subinterval, the x value in the middle of negative one and zero is negative 0 0.5. f of negative 0 0.5 is the height of the third rectangle, which should be here, in the middle of the subinterval. The area is equal to the width of one times the function value f of negative 0 0.5. The x value in the middle of zero and one is 0 0.5. f of 0 0.5 is the height of the fourth rectangle, which should be here where the area is equal to one times f of 0 0.5. For the fifth rectangle, the x value in the middle of one and two is 1.5. f of 1.5 is the height of the fifth rectangle, which is here in the middle of the subinterval. The area of this rectangle is the width of one times the function value f of 1.5. And then for the sixth rectangle, the x value in the middle of two and three is 2.5. F of 2.5 is the height of the sixth rectangle, which should be here in the middle of the subinterval, where the area is equal to the width of one times the function value f of 2.5. Notice all the widths here are one. So if we want to match the formula here above, we could say m sub six is equal to delta x, which is one times the sum of the function values f of negative 2.5 plus f of negative 1.5 plus f of negative 0 0.5 plus f of 0 0.5 plus f of 1.5 plus f of 2.5. Let's go ahead and shade the area of the rectangles. And now let's finish the calculation below. We have m sub six is equal to one times the sum of the function values where f of negative 2.5 is equal to the square root of negative 2.5 plus three, which is the square root of 0 0.5, plus f of negative 1.5 is equal to the square root of negative 1.5 plus three, which is equal to the square root of 1.5, plus f of negative 0 0.5 is equal to the square root of negative 0 0.5 plus three, which is the square root of 2.5, plus f of 0 0.5 is equal to the square root of 0 0.5 plus three, or the square root of 3.5, plus f of 0 0.5 plus three, 
plus f of 1.5 is equal to the square root of 1.5 plus 3, which is equal to the square root of 4.5. And then finally, f of 2.5 is equal to the square root of 2.5 plus 3, which is the square root of 5.5. And now we'll go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation for this area, and we'll round to four decimal places. Of course, we can leave off this factor of 1 and just find the sum of the square roots. To four decimal places, we have approximately 9.8503. So using six approximating rectangles and midpoints, we estimate the area under the curve bounded by the x-axis over the closed interval from negative three to positive three is approximately 9.8503 square units. I hope you found this helpful.